Hello everyone, I'm Larry Haler, your state representative from the 8th District. Last week, the legislature took the first positive step in helping to provide more certainty and stability for employers by unanimously passing a bill that reduces unemployment costs by an average of 30%. It also extends the temporary benefits for those citizens struggling in a tight job market. Job market. Many employers have seen both their unemployment and workers' compensation rates skyrocket in the last few years as the economy turned and layoffs increased. For someone trying to hire new workers or keep their small businesses afloat, these rate increases are devastating and prevent job growth. The House agreed to a bipartisan solution that in essence rolls back the unemployment insurance tax rates for all employers to January 1, 2011. As a result, there will be no rate increases this year. In the end, even though this compromise didn't have everything we wanted, it's a win-win for struggling employers who are constantly seeing their tax obligations increase and workers who would otherwise see their unemployment benefits canceled. This past week was a very busy one for me as we hosted our third annual Clean Energy Independence Day at the State Capitol. I have worked hard to bring this event into fruition three years ago, and I'm proud that it continues to grow. What a wonderful opportunity for organizations and business from around the state of Washington to showcase the diversity of energy-related projects and services, including smart grid technology, biomass, biofuels, green building, and solar and fuel cell technology. The event was sponsored by the Tri-Cities Research District, the Port of Benton, and the Tri-Cities Enter Enterprise Partnership Zone. Another exciting event occurred this last week also, and that was the first time screening of the Hanford story. It has always been a dream of mine to be able to have my fellow colleagues in the legislature learn firsthand history and current processes that are involved in the Hanford cleanup. This week, as a part of the Tri-Cities Legislative Day, a special screening of the Hanford story was shown to members, guests, and staff. This was a great opportunity for those in Olympia to learn more about the Hanford story and to ask questions of those who are in the frontiers of the cleanup process at Hanford. I also wanted to let you know of some of the upcoming events I have scheduled. Please join me for a district coffee on Sunday, February 20th from 1 to 2.30 p.m. at the Jadwin CSA building at 719 Jadwin Avenue in Richland. My district coffees are informal gatherings with no set agendas. I'm here to listen to your concerns and answer any questions you may have. And then on Saturday, March 12th, Senator Jerome Delvin, Representative Brad Clippert and I are hosting four town halls throughout the district. You can visit my website for more information on times and locations please feel free to attend these meetings and those meetings that occur closest to where you live. Finally, I want to introduce a very special guest visiting me today, and that is Andrew Moore. He's serving as a House legislative intern, and I have been asking him and talking to him about his legislative experience as an intern. Andrew was born and raised in Prosser. He is currently an undergraduate at WSU and is majoring in political science with a minor in business administration. He is interested in pursuing a possible law degree with a future career in agriculture. Andrew, I want to thank you for joining me today. And what's, what are your impressions of being a, a college intern here in, in the legislature? Well, I've learned a lot of stuff that I never would have had the opportunity in just taking college courses. So I've really enjoyed the experience and looking forward to the rest of the session. Well, I'm glad to have you here. And Andrew, as I said, has done a great job. And as always, I invite you to share your ideas and your concerns by contacting my office. You can use my direct line, 306-786-7986. That's 360-786-7986. Or you can use the toll-free hotline that you see below. Or send an email message to me. And don't forget to check my webpage for news and where you can also sign up for my e-newsletter. E Thank you very much, and I look forward to hearing from you. This is Larry Haler representing the 8th Legislative District reporting to you from Olympia.